thank you, Secretary Flournoy and uh, General Petraeus for being with us today and for your great service to this country. We greatly appreciate that, and I want to say at the offset how much I appreciate the hard work and sacrifice of our troops, particularly representing the state of Maine, where we have a high proportion of people who have served in the military. Um, we are grateful for their work and their sacrifice and uh, the sacrifice of their families. Um, like a couple of my previous colleagues, I, I guess I want to take issue with a little bit of your perspective on this and uh, elaborate a little bit on how I feel about that. I, I disagree with you basically on the premise that our continued military presence in Afghanistan actually strengthens our national security. Since the surge of troops in southern and eastern Afghanistan started, we have seen only increased levels of violence coupled with an incompetent and corrupt Afghan government. I am of the belief that continuing with the surge and increasing the level of American for forces will have the same result, more American lives lost, and we will be no closer to success. Uh, in my opinion, the American people remain skeptical that continuing to put their sons and daughters in harm's way in Afghanistan is worth the price being paid, and I think they have good reason to feel that way. It seems that increased military operations in southern and eastern Afghanistan have resulted in increased instability, increased violence, and more civilian casualties, some of which we've already discussed today. Meanwhile, pulling out of an area not only reduces the level of violence, the local Afghan leaders sometimes end up turning against the Taliban. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Brown, commander of a U.S. Army unit that came under attack in Kandesh, described what happened when his company was ordered out of the area. Colonel Brown said, this I'm quoting here. Uh, if you pull out the coalition forces, you open up the natural seams between the traditional leaders and the Johnny-come-lately Taliban. According to Colonel Brown, his patrolling troops were just providing a recruitment tool for the insurgency. Uh, the chair alluded to this uh, same kind of sentiment earlier, but I want to repeat a remark of the former Russian ambassador to Afghanistan who was a KGB agent in Kabul when the Soviets were occupying the country. He said the USA has, quote, already repeated all of our mistakes and has moved on to making mistakes of their own. He said the single biggest mistake the Soviets made was letting their military footprint get too large. We are now on track to have more troops in Afghanistan than the Soviets did at the height of their occupation. So can you comment on this? Was Lieutenant Colonel Brown correct? Has the escalation of U.S. forces increased the insurgency? And was the former Republic, uh, Russian ambassador correct that the presence of our forces is fueling the violence in Afghanistan and strengthening the insurgency? Thank you. Well, first of all, Congresswoman, with respect to uh, the Lieutenant Colonel, there may be cases where you could pull out of an area and serendipity results in the form of local leaders who stand up to the Taliban. Uh, I'm hard pressed to think of cases where that has taken place though, and I'll have to see where it was that his element was deployed. Uh, in many cases where um, we have pulled out for one reason or another over the years, uh, if it's a Pashtun area, and that's where we tend to be deployed, uh, the Taliban will fill the void together with the illegal narcotics industry and they'll revive the poppy crop and, uh, and indeed become a stronghold for the insurgency. Uh, again, it's a fact that the Taliban controlled that entire part of the country, of course Kabul and much of the rest of the country as well, and that's where the 9-11 attacks were, were planned. That's why we're there, to prevent that from becoming an extremist safe haven again. Uh, the fact is that when we do go into an area, uh, in many cases, the violence does go up, and that's because we're taking away sanctuaries and safe havens from the Taliban, which is why we have to go into those areas. Um, the campaign focuses on the major population centers. They have to be provided uh, greater security. It's not just about stability. I mean, if you want, if all you want is stability, and you don't care who's in charge of that stability, then again, you can give that to them, but then you obviously don't have uh, control over what it is that takes place in that, quote, stable region. It may be that Kandahar was stable at the time of the Taliban controlling it, uh, but the fact is that you also had Al-Qaeda's senior leadership in there hatching plots such as uh, the 9-11 attacks and, and others. So uh, again, I you know, you've cited a couple of different isolated incidents and so forth, and I can probably cite as many isolated incidents in return or perhaps even some first-hand uh, accounts. 
In the interest of time, I know I'm going to run out here. So I'll just say I, I appreciate it, and I appreciate it from the start that you and I disagree. I wanted to put the sentiment out there that I do sure. think uh, increasingly the American public is concerned about the expense, the loss of lives, and I think all of us are concerned with our lack of success. But I, thank you I, for your, I, very I, much for your I, service. If I could just relate one, th one, because this is important, I think, to this body. One of your members came out, she had just been elected. This is when I was in Iraq, and it was in the probably still in the early months of the surge, and it was a very tough time. And she forthrightly, right before Ambassador Crocker and I could even open our mouths, she wanted me to know that she was a member of the Out of Iraq Caucus. And I said, Congresswoman, so am I. Uh, and so, I mean, in the sense that I share your concerns about getting out of there uh, from a number of different perspectives, I'll explain some of those later perhaps, um, I share the concerns about the cost, about the stress on our force, about the sacrifices that our young men and women and their families uh, have made and are making. But I also share a concern about the security of our country. And I, I don't share the idea that our presence uh, does not strengthen our national security. I do think this is not, I think Afghani the reason we're in Afghanistan is very, very clear. Um, and again, it's about how we can accomplish that core objective that the President has articulated uh, that is, I think, the, the real essence of the debate. But I'll just say again, I, I appreciate your service. We have a strategic disagreement here. Thank you, General Lee. And I appreciate yours as well.